Hello and welcome back. In the last video we talked about how to solve systems of linear equations with no solutions. We mentioned that in order for a system of linear equations to have no solutions, that must imply that the lines are basically parallel so that they never meet and therefore there is no point of intersection. In that case it'd have to have the same slope and different y-intercept. Now we are going to go over infinite solutions. So it is also a possibility that a system of linear equations will have an infinite number of solutions, which basically means that the lines intersect at all points. So why don't we consider this first equation, y is equal to 2x plus 1. I'm going to graph this equation on a grid. Okay, and now we will consider another equation, y is equal to 2x plus 1, the same equation. If we graph that line, obviously it's going to appear in the exact same location. And we'll see here that because these lines are the same, they intersect at all points. And therefore, they have an infinite number of solutions. So that's it. In order for a system of linear equations to have an infinite number of solutions, the lines basically have to be the same. Again, if we have the equation y is equal to 3x minus 2, and we wanted to have a system of linear equations with an infinite number of solutions, our second equation would also be y is equal to 3x minus 2. Now notice, the only criteria we made for having a system of linear equations was to have two linear equations. We didn't say whether or not they had to be the same equations or different equations as long as they were two linear equations. So technically, this still satisfies the definition for having a system of linear equations. And so it seems pretty obvious, it seems pretty easy to tell when you have an infinite number of solutions. If the lines are the same, they intersect at all points because they are on top of each other, and that means that you have an infinite number of solutions. Now we'll consider a case where it's not so obvious. In this example, we have two equations in standard form. And we know that when we have two equations in standard form, we're normally going to use elimination. So I'll rewrite the equations again over here. And then if I want, for example, the x term, if I want those x terms to cancel out, what I can do is divide the first equation by 2. And that'll give me x minus 2y is equal to 1. So 2x divided by 2 is x, negative 4y divided by 2 is negative 2y, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So that gives me x minus 2y is equal to 1. The second equation I'll rewrite again, that is x minus 2y is equal to 1. Now hold on, these equations are the same. So we're expecting an infinite number of solutions. But why don't we just continue solving the system as we normally would? We would subtract the two equations, we'd have that x minus x is equal to 0, negative 2y minus negative 2y is negative 2y plus 2y, so that gives you 0, and 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So you have 0 plus 0 is equal to 0, or 0 is equal to 0. That statement makes perfect sense, right? 0 is of course equal to itself. And what we're going to find when solving a system of linear equations is that when we get a statement that states that a number is equal to itself, we have an infinite number of solutions. Because that statement is true for any values of x and y. So we have an infinite number of solutions. Why don't we do one more example? In this example, we have one equation in standard form and another in point slope form. So we have x minus 2y is equal to 8 and y is equal to 1 over 2x minus 4. So this I'm going to solve by substitution. I'll rewrite the first equation over here. Then I'm going to substitute the value for y from the second equation. So if I do that, I'll have x minus 2 times 1 over 2x minus 4 is equal to 6. And then I can distribute. That'll give me x minus 2 over 2x plus 8 is equal to 8. Right, because negative 2 times 1 over 2x is negative 2 over 2x, uh, negative 2 times negative 4 is 8. Right, then 2 divided by 2 is 1, so you have x minus x plus 8 is equal to 8, and then x minus x is 0, 
So the x terms cancel out, and we're left with 8 is equal to 8. Once again, we have a number equal to itself. So that statement is true for any values of x and y. And we know that whenever we get a number equal to itself, that means that we have an infinite number of solutions. So basically that means that these two equations are the same. And I would encourage you to convert the standard form equation to point slope form, and you will find that you will get y is equal to 1 over 2x minus 4. You will find that it is the exact same equation as the first equation. All right, so these two lines are the same, they'll intersect at all points, and therefore we have an infinite number of solutions. So that's all I wanted to go over for this video. Thanks for watching.